Here we are back to Aesop's Fables for some more stories. The Cock and the Jeweled. Remember now, a cock is a rooster. One bright day in the spring, a cock was scratching up the straw that littered the barnyard in search of food for his flock of hens. To his great surprise, his industrious claws turned up a jewel that by some chance had been lost there. There it is. See the rooster scratching the ground. Roosters like to scratch the ground, and so do chickens looking for the seeds. There he is. Now, the cock was a sensible cock. Hello, said he, as his bright eyes examined the jewel. I can see you are a very valuable thing, though you, how you got here I have no, not the least idea. I can see, too, that there are those who must prize you, but as for me, give me a kernel of corn rather than all the bright jewels in the world. <laughs> and so here's the application. The ignorant despise what is precious only because they cannot understand it. The ignorant despise what is precious only because they cannot understand it. <laughs> Jupiter and the bee. So Jupiter is the chief of the Roman gods. Long, long ago, there was an industrious bee, bee who had stored her combs with a, her honeycombs with a bountiful harvest. One day, she decided to fly up to heaven to present an offering of honey to Jupiter. The god was so delighted with the bee's gift that he promised her she should have whatever her heart desired. Oh, great Jupiter, my creator and master, I beg of thee, give thy servant a sting, <laughs> so that when anyone approaches my hive to take the honey, I may kill him on the spot. Jupiter was surprised to hear such a bloodthirsty request from such a humble creature. Becoming angry, he said, Your prayer shall not be granted in exactly the way you wish. But the sting you ask for you shall have. When anyone comes to take away your honey and you attack him, the wound shall be fatal, but it shall be fatal to you, for your life shall go with your sting. He who prays hard against his neighbor brings a curse upon himself. <laughs> the horse and the groom. Once there was a groom, that's a person who grooms the horses, who brushes them, once there was a groom who was just about the meanest man in the world. He used to steal the grain intended for the horse and said, without his master's knowledge, and, and would, without his master's knowledge, sell it in the village. But all day long he kept very busy grooming and currying the horse within an inch of its life. If you really are so anxious that I look well, said the horse one day to his groom, then give me less of your brushing and more of your corn. A man may smile, yet be a villain. The mischievous dog. Once upon a time, there was a dog who was so wild and mischievous that his master despaired of taming him. The last straw was when he bit a servant in pretending to be playful. His master was taking him out to the forest to dispose of him when a neighbor suggested, The way to tame the, that beast is to fasten a chain around his neck and attach it, and attach a heavy wooden clog to the end of it. That will stop him from biting and worrying his fellows. The master decided to try, to try it. The next day, the dog, looking, looking upon his clog as a badge of distinction, went down to the marketplace, shaking and rattling the hobble to attract everyone's attention. An old dog approached him and said, If I were in your place, I would make less noise and not call people's attention to my disgrace. Wearing a hobble is anything but a mark of distinction. Men often mistake notoriety for fame. Ooh, there's a lot of wisdom in that statement. The blind man and the whelp. A whelp is a pup. It's a puppy. A puppy wolf. There was once a blind man who, merely by placing his hands upon an animal, could detect to what species it belonged. To test him one day, they brought him a wolf's whelp. Long and carefully, he felt the beast all over. Then, still being in doubt, he said, I know not whether thy father was a dog or a wolf, but this I do know, 
that I would not trust thee among a flock of sheep. <laughs> the child is father to the man. Hmm. Interesting. The child is father to the man. The child. That's an interesting statement. I had to think about that one. Well, there you go. That's it for today. Back with more later. Bye.